Welcome to the Socialized Forecast, Tuesday, April 30th, 2024. As you know, on Tuesdays, we talk about trends, content ideas, music suggestions, and social media updates. Today, I'm recording later than usual, so I have the video going with a light on, which is very rare for me. I don't usually record with lighting, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do as a creator to fit it into the day. So there we are. Let's dive into some of the thoughts I had on what I'm seeing on the For You page. And I'm happy about it, honestly. I feel as though we are almost going back to when social media was a little more fun. And maybe it's just because what I'm watching on the For You page is more fun and dances and upbeat content. So therefore I'm being fed more of it, but I'm feeling good vibes lately on social media. I almost feel that it's going back to the fun we used to have where things were a little more irreverent, not so serious. And possibly is it because TikTok, you know, the, the, the pending ban. And so people are just winging it and throwing out the different types of content and they're not as serious. Maybe I don't know, but, and then some of the stuff I see about the ban is really jarring. <laughs> so there's that side I'm getting two sides of it, but I will say that I have, I've been noticing that on my, at least on my for you page, things are much more fun and I, I think good vibes. So I'm hoping that that's what everyone is seeing. I really hope you are too. All right, let's get into the trends this week. First one is very easy lip sync called I Love It. And honestly, I'm going to hop on this one because I have recently posted a bunch of tutorials that have reached new audiences. I I don't know if you're aware, but I've hit a million followers on TikTok and I was very excited about that. It was a big milestone. So I have lots of fun comments from people who are celebrating with me and really excited about my tutorials and lots of new people. And I am going to probably use this audio to respond to a bunch of comments and have a nice, fun, upbeat, add a title. So the idea is to add a title about what you're doing and why you love it. So I'm gonna use mine to highlight what I'm doing on social media, what I have been doing and why I love it by highlighting some of the positive comments I've been receiving. So decide how you wanna do it. There's a lot of things you can do to show appreciation. So maybe look at this audio to do the same kind of thing where you reply to somebody's comment that you are really excited about. That's a nice, easy way to make content. And the next one is I cry a lot. <laughs> and this is a funny one, but I've seen this a lot on my For You page as well. So it's one of Taylor Swift's new songs. It comes with a cap cut template. So it's nice and easy to do. And what you're going to do here is show yourself either you can be really crying, like pull a video from when you were crying maybe and posted something. And then what happens next is even though you're crying, you're very productive. So you need to show a lots of clips of what you do so that it shows how productive you are, even though you are an emotional person. I can really relate to this one so much. So I might have to, I might have to do it, but the hard part on this is you have to find those clips, put them all into a folder so that you can quickly access those clips when you're doing a cap cut template. And we provide the template for you here. So it's nice and easy to do. Check, just make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter so that you're getting all the links to these trends. The next one is nice for upcoming graduation. So it's a good one to plan ahead for. And you don't have to use this for a graduation. This is just a way that a lot of people are using it, but it's on to the next adventure. And that is the idea of the music. And you want to show, and there's audio with this of somebody talking about, you know, you're onto your next adventure in life. So you can use it as a graduation thing. You can use it for uh, somebody that you know's graduation, or you can use it for yourself if it's something you want to highlight that you're moving on to. Maybe you're moving to a new location and you're on to your next adventure. Maybe you've left a job and you're moving on to a new opportunity. So just think about how you can highlight that this is your next adventure. And it's a nice and fun and pretty easy one. You do, it does require some editing to add some clips together, but it's basic stuff and you could use the auto edit feature as well. All right. I also want to mention that the first trend, the I love it trend, we linked to the Instagram video. So we're trying to bring in some Instagram trends as well. Although the trends on Instagram are a little bit harder to nail down because so many of them come from TikTok to Instagram. So they in, they originate on, on it, TikTok. So therefore the audio is often hard to find on Instagram unless you can find it on someone else's video who has purpose, repurposed it from TikTok to Instagram. 
So just keep that in mind when you're when you're scrolling that even though you're on Instagram and you think this is the first time you've ever seen something, Instagram usually is following suit from TikTok in so many cases with so many creators. So that's why the audio is a little more challenging to find. All right, my, we interrupt the broadcast now to bring you the fact that Julie and I do a mother-daughter podcast together and it's called Yours Truly with Helen and Julie. We have a really good time talking about a topic, a different topic every week. We tackled friendship one week. We tackled, uh, we talked about last week, what it's like, how work life has evolved, working, how corporate life has evolved. Uh, yesterday, today's, sorry, we are the recent episode we recorded was about what if we could be an influencer? And so the pros and cons, we talked about it from all angles, both being very savvy in social media. We have a lot of different insights on that. Julie was pretty funny on that one. So we have lots of different topics we we tackle. And if you want us to tackle a topic or if you wanna ask us some questions and have it addressed in an episode, you can feel free to submit the questions to the newsletter and we will make sure to answer them in our upcoming episode. Yay to that. We have so much fun doing that. Sometimes I save things that I want to tell her to save them for the podcast so that we have a real conversation of, about something we hadn't even talked about before. And that's my favorite thing. It's like our little catch up for the week. All right. So original content ideas, nice, easy ones for you today. April recap, super easy. There's a cap cut template you could use for one. It makes it nice and easy for like a little photo dump. It's always nice to, and you don't have to do it every month, but it's a nice way to organize your photos and videos from the month. It puts you in a place where you have to put things in a folder to make the trend. Therefore, you'll have your photos organized so that by the end of the year, you don't have to go through every month. You can go into your your March, April, and May recaps and pull out your, pull out your favorite videos. The other idea is to stitch an, an engaging video. It's a really popular known fact that if you use a viral video and you stitch it, you have a good chance of getting in front of more people because that video has gone viral for a reason. And it's usually the opening few seconds. So if you use the opening few seconds and then you respond to it, you would have, uh, if your response is good, you have to have a good response and good content following it. Otherwise people are going to scroll right away, but using that hook will keep people around for the stitch. And if you can hook them and keep them with your stitch, you can potentially have a little bit more views on your videos if you're struggling with views. And it gives you a content idea without having to come up with something completely new. I stitched one recently, which was uh, show us your completely use useless secret talent. And I showed myself writing backwards in script, which is probably pretty useless, but you never know. Maybe one day it'll come in handy. <laughs> Anyway, you can do the, the, I think we included that in the newsletter. So you can do that and use that one to stitch, or you can find another one, but it's always nice to do a response with a stitch so that, that way you keep your audience listening. And the last idea for today, this is so uncanny because Julie and I, we come together to write this newsletter. And today she came up with the original content ideas, but weirdly, this is so weird. I was out today doing some errands and I recorded a video that is so bizarre that it's basically this idea. And I don't even know how, because we didn't talk about this. So it's weird. I have to say it. So the idea here is what would you tell your younger self, whether you're 20, 25, 55 or whatever, make a video about the things you might tell your younger self, what helped you or changed your perspective, what things you might do differently. If you, things you had known before you became X, Y, and Z in a business, things you, you wish you knew, you know, that kind of thing. Tell, what would you tell your younger self about starting a business? So many funny things you can do with it, but fun things and intelligent things you can do with it as well as funny. But what I did today that is so bizarre is I was out walking and it was really hot in the New York today. So I had a sleeveless shirt on and I was thinking, oh man, when I was in my forties, and even in my fifties, I used to have this thing about like, I can't show my arms because my arms look old whatever was in my head at the time. I remember it specifically thinking I didn't like my arms. I didn't like the way the skin was now as I was aging. I got to cover up my arms now. I don't know why, but it was a phase. Anyway, I realize now that I'm 63 looking back, I'm thinking what was wrong with my arms? They were probably perfectly fine. And I was so ridiculously self-conscious about my arms. So I decided to record this video on the street today about the perspective of being 20 years older and looking back at yourself. So it's almost similar to this only it's 
putting yourself forward 20 years and saying, what would I want to tell myself now if I was my younger self? You get it? I'm amazed by this, that this came on the same day. She had this idea and I made this video today. It is crazy. So my perspective is, I always like to think now, if I was 83, looking back at myself at 63, what would I tell myself? And then I go, oh, I am 63. I can listen to my advice right now. So that was the point of my little on the street random video today. And I, I give you that as a gift to think about. Push yourself ahead and then look back at yourself as if you are back 20 years. Brilliant. So what would you tell your younger self? You can do that as a piece of content now telling your 20 year old younger self, or you can actually pretend you're your older self talking to your younger self now. All right. It's a fun one. <laughs> I think I doubled down on the concept, on the idea right here. Now, in terms of tutorials, for whatever reason, I posted a lot of tutorials last week and I only really managed to get one in the books this week for some reason. And I have a second one I'm going to post hopefully before this podcast releases, but I did go back into teaching a duet and a stitch. I've had so many people that are beginners coming to me, asking me basic things. I said, let me remake this duet and stitch video. It's a how to do a duet and how to do a stitch. I demonstrated on TikTok. It works the same way on Instagram. It's called a remix on Instagram. So it's like, uh, it's a, just a different, um, a different button to push, but it's the same concept concept. So I do teach that lesson today. You can get that link from the newsletter. And what I am also going to release is that there are some suggestions and I don't know that this, that Instagram does this as much as TikTok, but I've noticed on TikTok, you'll see one that's, you'll see a banner that says, follow, follow this creator in red or duet this in red. And it's a thing that's on the bottom of the video as a suggestion. And I have a lot of people asking me, how do I put that on my videos? And I'm here to tell you, and I'm, I posted this as a, as a video today to explain, you can't put it on your videos. It's a suggestion that the platform is putting on your video to F to the viewer. So if I send a video that says duet this and I send it to Julie, when she opens that video, she's not going to see duet this because it's not attached to the video. It's actually something that the algorithm or the platform itself is putting on the video. When you're scrolling in the for you page, it's giving it as a suggestion. And my gut feeling is that it's suggesting it because it's probably a video. A lot of people had have duetted. So when the algorithm recognizes, oh, this is a popular duet video, it's probably suggesting it to people. So that's how that works. So don't get yourself frustrated thinking, oh my goodness, I, I don't, I don't know why how to put this button on my video. You can't, unfortunately. So that's just a little lesson for you today. And for the music suggestions, you're going to have to hop over and be on the newsletter subscription to get that. First off, because I have to add them, I haven't even selected them yet. And secondly, because it's just a lot easier to share music via a link versus talking about it here on a podcast. A lot of them are not just a song title. A lot of them are made by specific music creators. So that is a wrap for today. Uh, don't forget to submit any questions that you'd like answered in the Friday podcast. This Friday, we are featuring the Austin Influencer podcast. So I will not have questions. She's answering questions in that podcast. So for this coming Friday, she will be addressing a lot of questions that were asked of her live when we recorded and people were firing in with their questions and they were so, so good. And she answered all my questions. So it's a really good one. So mark on your calendars to come back and listen on Friday. It'll also be released in short form newsletter form. So you can look forward to both of those and we will see you next week. I will not be back Friday recording because I already recorded that episode and my son is getting married this weekend. So I will be dancing my little feet off at a wedding on Saturday, May 4th. All right. Thank you so much for listening. And you know, I always love being here. So if you landed just by a podcast platform, please subscribe to the newsletter so that you can get all the details. And I hope you enjoyed the lighting in the room. Look, there's my light reflecting in my television behind me. Pretty funny. Anyway, have a great week. Have a great following weekend. And I will see you next week.